Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. On February 17th this year, we enter into the season of Lent. And I'd like to talk to you just a little bit about Lent today, and I'll be talking a little bit more in some future videos. Let's start with the name, Lent. It comes from the word for springtime, because in the Norman, Northern Hemisphere, that's when that happens. Now, other languages, other cultures can have other names. In Spanish and in Italian, we call it Quaresma. It comes from the word 40. So, Quarenta is the Italian word for 40. Just as a sidebar, there's a variation of that called Quarantina, which would mean 40 or little 40, literally. That's where we get the word quarantine. So a quarantine is like a type of Lent. So 40 is this significant number, and during Lent we spend 40 days. Now in the early church, uh, people would go through the catechumenate, they would receive instruction in their faith, and then there would be this final period of preparation, and there'd be less emphasis on instruction and more on preparation, immediate preparation for baptism. Uh, that's when they would receive the creed. That's when they would receive the Our Father. And at the Easter Vigil, they would be baptized. And so this, there's this baptismal connection with Lent as well. Well, in time, most everyone in society, I think the experience for most of us too, is that we're already baptized. But at Easter, we make a renewal of our baptismal promises. So there's still that baptismal connection regarding Lent for all of us as well. You could say Lent is a 40-day retreat. We spend 40 days preparing to renew our baptismal promises. So at Easter, we're asked six questions. To reject three things, to accept three things. Do you reject sin? Do you refuse to be mastered by evil? Do you reject Satan? Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, what we accept in Jesus Christ as only Son, our Lord, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church? So 40 days preparing to answer six questions, and we do this by utilizing three tools, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And we'll talk more about that next time. But as we prepare to enter into Lent, it's good right now just to think about what is my Lenten program going to be in terms of what we sacrifice, what we give up, and in terms of what we do extra. And I remember many years ago reading something by another priest in a diocese who said, before you think about, before you give something up, you know, ask yourself this Lent, what do I need to give up? And I would add, even before you add, do something extra, ask yourself, what is something extra that I need to do this year? Now, Ash Wednesday, along with Christmas Eve and Easter Sunday, is one of the three busiest days of the year at St. Therese. And of course, our goal is to serve as many people as possible and to do it as safely as possible. So we will have four masses with distribution of ashes, 6.30 a.m., 8.30 a.m., 5.30 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. We will also have two services, a liturgy of the word with di distribution of ashes. This will take place at noon and at 4 p.m. So there'll be six opportunities to receive ashes on Ash Wednesday. Uh, we are asking people, as it's Christmas, to make a reservation for the mass or service that you're going to attend. There's information on that here, and you can go to our parish website as well. Again, we're doing this for your safety. We want to serve as many people as possible uh, while keeping people as safe as we can. So as we prepare to enter into the season, let us continue to hold each other in prayer. Let us continue to lift each other up in prayer to pray for each other, to pray for our country, and to pray for our suffering world. God bless you. Thank you for joining me.